what's going on guys my name is jay so you can call me yay welcome to my channel if you're new and you've been following my journey with death note welcome back so we're heading over to episode 12 and last episode we finally got to meet the character that has the second death note i guess i'm confused because i thought the second death note belonged to the shinigami that's with the light but she had a completely different shinigami so i guess i got that information twisted but yeah, I guess we'll see how she adds spice into the story. Am I going to get annoyed by her? I have no clue. I guess we'll find out. So I'm just ready to hop right into it. But before we do, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe for more content and hit that bell notification so you know when I post new videos. Now let's hop right into it. I need to figure out what this imposter is all about before someone else on the task force beats me to it. I don't know. I was like right there with you when it comes to intelligence, so... The suspect that we've been pursuing up until now has needed both a name and a face to kill his victims. But there is something different happening here. Recall that Mr. Ukita was killed the moment he arrived at the station. And this Kira demanded only that I appear on TV, but made no request for my name. This implies that the second Kira only needs to see a person's face to kill them. So I'll ask Light to look over all of our information as well as our video evidence. If he comes to the conclusion that there could be a second suspect, then he'd be almost completely cleared of suspicion in this case. But how will that prove anything? Logically, if he's really Kira, he'll want me dead, seeing as I'm the one leading the investigation against him right now. And the way things are going, if I comply with this new subject's demands and appear on TV in three days, there's a very good chance I will die. I'm nervous about that. They wouldn't kill L. Right? This video is so mediocre. <laughs> it's making me sick to my stomach. And I don't know, maybe it's because I'm the real one. But this is a complete disgrace to everything Kira stands for. I knew he was going to be mad about that. Something's not right here. It seems unusual that no one bothered to explain this video to me. It's not like them. Well, in any case, I'd be stupid to comment on it. It's probably best if I say nothing. If I just leave it alone, Elle dies. So, what do you make of this light? Have you come to any conclusions? Mm -hmm. Damn, it's a test. It's hard to say for sure, but there might be another person out there with Kira's power. With Kira's power? But what do you mean by that light? <laughs> At the very least, I'd say this tape was not created by the Kira we're familiar with. That was incredible, Light. Now any doubts about you should be resolved. I think you're exactly right about that. We also believe that this is the work of a second Kira. I knew it. From what we've seen, he sympathizes with the real Kira, but clearly lacks his sophistication. I think he might even be willing to obey the original. Oh, and Light, I would like you to play the part of the real Kira. Huh? Me as Kira? <laughs> what a joke! The only one I can think of would be able to pull something like this off. <laughs> Damn him. He must have been planning this from the beginning. It's the only reason I'm here. <laughs> Yusaki, does this look okay? I think I managed to make it believable. This is such a joke. Light is working with L, but Light is Kira. Like, I'm scared for L. Now he has two people against him, you know? Ryuzaki, we have a reply from the second Kira. What? Really? So quickly? I'll be bringing over the envelope and tape that we received, but in the meantime, I'm streaming a copy of the video so you can view it on your end. Kira, thank you for your reply. Please do not worry. I will follow orders and do as you say. Whoa, it worked. I will do as you say, huh? This guy's gonna be no help at all. If this fake had any idea what my wishes were, he'd insist that Elle appear on TV and then kill him anyway. How could you fall for something like this? Damn it. I really want to meet you. I don't think you have the eyes. <laughs> but you don't have to worry. I would never try to kill you. That's a promise. What the hell is he thinking? Talking about Shinigami eyes in a public message like this. What's this having the eyes supposed to mean? Is it a code? Yeah. I was gonna figure it out. Please tell me how I can meet you without the police knowing. You'll think of something, and when we meet, we can confirm our identities by showing our Shinigami to each other. <gasps> Shinigami? He's a liability! If I don't do something about him quickly... <laughs> What's up with Al? <laughs> Ryuzaki! 
Are you all right? Shinigami. Am I supposed to believe that? That Shinigami actually exists? Um. Oh, don't freaking scare me like that! Jeez! I thought something seriously happened to him. Listen to yourself. Of course Shinigami don't exist. <sighs> You're probably right, but I remember that Kira had those prisoners write something suggesting the existence of Shinigami. That they liked apples? All of this suggests to me that the copycat has his own agenda and is acting independently of the first. I believe his actual motivation is to meet the original. The word Shinigami could very well be some reference to their killing power. They're not talking about the eyes, though. He's, like, avoiding that, huh? If I were Kira himself, my priority would be to prevent this imposter from coming into contact with the police. This is good for us, because it means that the real Kira may feel pressured to respond this time. In the meantime, let's gather all the information we can on this copycat. Each Shinigami has to have one death note of their own. For a Shinigami to give a notebook to a human, he needs to have two. The Shinigami King isn't someone who's easily fooled. It doesn't happen often. Oh, then how did I get mine? Let's just say it has a lot to do with the fact that I'm one of the few in the Shinigami realm who knows how to kill another of my kind. Oh. That's how I ended up with two. How do you kill a Shinigami? I have to know. Well? Never repeat this to anyone. She's actually telling her? I learned the only way to kill a Shinigami is to make them fall in love with a human. What a beautiful way to kill. There once was a Shinigami named Jealous who spent all of his time watching over a certain human girl. Jealous wanted nothing more than to look at her as she went about her daily life. It's today, isn't it? Her last day alive. She looks so full of life. I wonder why today. It's. It's just not. Fair. He definitely looks different than the others. It was nighttime and she was walking alone. No one else was around. And then it happened. Oh, she's a murder. A man suddenly appeared and blocked her path. He was clearly infatuated with the girl. I love you more than anyone else in the world. I always want to you. I want to protect you forever. She'd never seen the man before, and of course, turned him down. <laughs> I can have you. I'll kill us both. That's scary. Wait, stop it. What are you doing? Did he kill the man? <laughs> Without even thinking, Jealous did something that we Shinigami must never do. Oh, she didn't die? He prevented a death. It was the wrong thing to do. Shinigami exist only to shorten and take human lives. We aren't permitted to undo that which has been fated. Oh, wow. That's so sad. At that moment, Jealous became something which was neither sand nor rust and disappeared forever. He died. The only reminder of his existence was his death note, left behind. The rest of his lifespan was added to hers. So not only had he saved her life, he'd accidentally extended it well beyond its natural end. What happened to the girl? Jealous loved you enough to die for you. So that death note is now yours to keep. What? So he loved her? So she has all this life? Something to start. No freaking way. Uh, come on. The coincidence of it all. What should I do? How can I contact the second Kira without Elle noticing anything? I wonder, what kind of person are you, Kira? Mm. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's over. I'm not satisfied with that episode. <laughs> okay, so... I guess I'm a bit confused with that information that they just gave. 
So the Shinigami ended up dying for protecting Misa. The rest of his life got added onto hers. So what does that part mean? How much longer is she going to live and can she even be killed? I don't know if I'm like overthinking that, but that's where my head is stuck at right now. So yeah, I'm curious to see how Light is gonna handle it as being the actual Kira, but at the same time also working with L. So I guess we'll see how this story still continues, but that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below, I love hearing from you guys. Subscribe for more content and I'll see you for the next one.